What's up guys, MC underscore figures here. Today we're gonna be looking at the brand new Ben Riley Spider-Man action figure. Okay guys, we got the retro car Spider-Man in hand. We got some nice art here. Ben Riley Spider-Man, Marvel Legends. Big Spider-Man logo sign right here with Marvel. The figure right there. Turn around, the figure again. Got some nice artwork in the back over here. Got some literature up here. If you want to pause the video, you can read that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up because I'm super excited to check out the uh, articulation and everything else with this figure, which is not much. All right, guys, we got the figure out of the packaging. But first, we're gonna look at his uh, accessories really fast. Set Spider-Man to the side. Have a whip uh, alternate hand, just one, which is unfortunate. If I can get that to focus. Just one flipping hand and one open palm hand. Yeah. Hasbro has to do a little bit better with the accessories, Hasbro Marvel Legends. Anyways, let's look at the figure. I'm not a fan of the the large eyes. Not a fan of that, but it still looks pretty good. Still looks good, aesthetically. But I would prefer the smaller eyes on the mask. The paint scheme on the, uh, the webs on his costume looks pretty clean. I like how they got an offset spider on his chest. This looks pretty nice. Turn them around. This part, I'm not too much of a fan. This uh, big spider design on the back, not too much of a fan of that. Um, let's get into the articulation of this figure now. Okay. His head can go up about that much his head can go down uh, about that much not too bad could be better tilt just slightly ever so slightly a little bit of tilt and turn around on the 360 arms can go up past 90 degrees Can rotate all the way around. He has a bicep cut here, double jointed elbows. See that? Nice. He has a diaphragm cut here. Can rotate, can bend them back about yeah that's, that's pretty nice bending back that much you can come forward uh, not that great but it'll do that'll do it's okay he has a uh, I wish he had a waist um, pelvic area well the crunch this crunching part right here is pretty decent he doesn't need any swivel at the hip since he has this. The legs go out this much. Out to the side. Goes forward about that much here. Goes back. Not too much. He has a thigh cut here. He has double jointed knees, which is nice. That's always nice. 
We have a shin cut, boot cut, or whatever you want to call it, boot cut. And you have a, rock, a ankle rocker right here, which is nice, always nice. What I like about this particular Marvel Legends Spider-Man, he has toe articulation. You see that? Nice toe articulation for those wall crawling poses or surface crawling poses. Nice. Okay. And by the way, before I forget, I'm always forgetting something. <laughs> but here is the swiveling wrist with a hinge. Okay, you can see that. Nice. Uh, the aesthetics of this figure is pretty decent. Um, there were uh, better releases in the past. The Ben Riley Spider-Man that I recently uh, uh, had from last year is, I believe, is better than this figure. And this is a bit of a downgrade. But it's still a decent figure, a decent Marvel Legends figure. It doesn't have too much uh, paint on it, but the articulation is decent. Um, these accessories, at Hasbro, at least give us two of each hand. Two of this hand, the open hand, and at least two flipping hands. You have two fist hands, why not two of each? Okay, we're gonna have a quick size comparison. These are 112 scale action figures. So they're no more than like six inches, six and a half inches um, in uh, length. But um, actually in reality, I, I really like this action figure way better than, uh, than this uh, new release. It's not then really that bad about this one but I did I just preferably like this one better and just to conclude my review of this uh, Ben Riley Spider-Man the Marvel Legends it's uh it's a pretty uh, decent release it's pretty decent uh, it's not great but it's okay it's an okay figure um, would I buy it if I was, you know, someone out here interested in buying it? I would, uh, maybe I would wait on it, you know. I wouldn't, because it's just the, the accessories and you're not really getting much for the price point. So, but... If you just a hardcore Spider-Man fan, go ahead and buy it. It looks good on the shelf, you know, if you're not going to be really doing any uh, photography or uh, posing it around, it's just going to sit on the shelf like most of the figures that I have. Just pick it up, you know, and uh, enjoy it. But anyways, guys... That's all I got to say about this particular figure. I'll see you guys in the next review.